Destiny 2 seems to be filling in the gaps of what the original was missing. After a slow drip of details, we finally have more information, including a long-awaited look at gameplay. We'll have more to come, including hands-on impressions from the Destiny 2 event, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any more updates. For now, whether you're new to Destiny or a veteran Guardian, these are the nine things you need to know to prepare for the September release. Instead of the first game's primary, secondary, and heavy weapon classes, Destiny 2 changes it up a bit. The three slots will be Energy, Kinetic, and Power. Power weapons include things like fusion and sniper rifles and the newly revealed grenade launchers, while the kinetic and energy slots will allow for some overlap. We also got to see two new weapon types, the chain gun and the grenade launcher. We've seen some new super abilities in action for the existing Destiny classes. Warlocks get a sword-based move called the Dawn Blade that can be used to attack enemies from above and it shoots fire. Titans get Sentinel, which allows you to summon a shield and use it Captain America style. And finally, the Arc Strider Super, which is for hunters, lets you summon a staff that you can swing around and slam enemies with. In Destiny 1, raids and nightfall strikes, which were the hardest and most rewarding activities in the game, didn't have matchmaking. That meant having to put in a lot of work to get a group together, and if you didn't have enough people with you to play, you were out of luck. To fix that, Destiny 2 is introducing official clan support to help you coordinate things in-game. That's a godsend for those of us with several text threads dedicated to organizing raids. The game will also feature a kind of matchmaking called Guided Games, where you can search for clans who need another person to play with and choose who you want to join. It's a more focused form of matchmaking that's incredibly exciting if you play solo pretty often, since you'll have more control over who you're playing with and can hopefully avoid a bad time. There will be four new worlds to explore in Destiny 2. Titan, Io, Nessus, and Earth's European Dead Zone. There will still be patrols in Destiny 2, but that's not all you'll be doing in these new areas. Unlike the original, there will be a greater emphasis on exploration. We saw towns and NPCs who give quests, and one map is twice the size of any of the areas from Destiny 1. Part of the more open worlds in Destiny 2 are more robust side quests known as adventures. These can involve hunting down treasure, featuring bona fide maps, and discovering lost sectors home to a boss that holds the treasure chest's key. It sounds simple, but Destiny 2 lets you launch activities from the planet or world you're on without going to orbit first. Just open the map, pick where you want to go, and get there faster. Destiny 2's Crucible will be 4v4 only. That means some game types from the first Destiny will either change or disappear entirely, and multiplayer will shift to focus on game modes for smaller teams. One of the new modes is called Countdown, but we don't know much about it yet. But our own Eric Tay has been checking out the Crucible, so keep your eyes up, Guardian, for some more gameplay. Unlike the original, Destiny 2 will be available on PC in addition to PS4 and Xbox One. You'll be able to get it exclusively through Blizzard's Battle.net platform and use Battle.net's built-in friends list and chat with Destiny 2. The PC version will also offer 4K support and uncapped frame rates. If you played the first Destiny, sorry, power, possessions, and Eververse-related items and currency won't carry over into Destiny 2. However, your character's appearance will transfer, so there's that. Destiny 2 will launch on September 8th and will have PS4 exclusive content for a time. It'll have a season pass called the Expansion Pass that includes new story missions, co-op activities, multiplayer, and new weapons, armor, and gear. There's also an open beta before launch, but if you pre-order the game, you can play the beta early. And with that, you're armed with the key details about Destiny 2. Stay tuned for even more Destiny 2 news and gameplay leading up to September 8th, including an entire playthrough of the first new strike, Inverted Spire.